guys, I am here today to share with you guys my paperclip obsession. I don't know if many of you guys in the planner community, because there's a lot of you out there that were crafters and scrapbookers and card makers, and now you're into the planner, whole planner thing. Um, so I jumped on the planner bandwagon about a year ago. Um, I haven't really committed to doing full-blown every week planner videos, but I do like to use my planners. They keep me organized and I love them. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I have seen several videos out there, but not a whole lot of your paper clip stash. Okay. I love washi tape. I don't have that big of a washi tape stash, but like my thing is paper clips. I don't even hardly use paper clips in my planners, but I like to have them. I don't know why. It's like Oh my God, they're so stinking cute. And then when you take photos of your planners, they look cute in your photos, but in reality, they're not as practical, I guess, to have them in your planners. I don't know. I actually sold some on Etsy for a while. I haven't made any new paper clips because I feel that they're kind of pricey and you can make them yourself. And I am going to share with you guys what I am talking about. Um, so I made a lot of paper clips myself. So I'm just going to share with you guys my hoard real quick. So I have this paper clip here and it's basically a bunch of these little strips from Webster's pages. They are ribbon and I know a lot of you have these in your stash and I just tied them around a, a gold paper clip and made a tassel. So that's one of my favorites. Um, I also had this one and this is a rosette that I made for Halloween and then I do put the felt on the back. Sometimes I cut it out pretty nice and then sometimes I just cut it out in a hurry and glue it on the back. So all you need is a paper clip and hot glue and an embellishment and you can make your own paper clip. So there's that one there. And then these right here are my favorite. I made these with my silhouette um, portrait and it's um, Baymax. And so, yeah, I laminated them and then I just stuck a paper clip and a felt piece on each one on the back. And there you go. There's your paper clip. So, so super cute. So I just thought that I would do this video because I haven't done one of these yet. And I didn't know if you guys would like to see my paper clip hoard. Um, if you guys have paper clip stashes that you guys want to share, just go ahead and put, um, do a video. I would love to see them and you can let me know that you did a video and I'll definitely go and check it out. Um, so I also used these for my, and made these from my silhouette and I just flipped them. And so they're double sided. And these, this one's my favorite, the Starbucks one. It's one of my favorites. Here's another one. It's like a little uh, kawaii cupcake. And I just flipped it and glued it on each side. I die cut this out of a paper, a paper collection that I had. I cut it out and then I just laminated it and glued it and stuck in. Some of them aren't that pretty on the back, but they're mine, so it doesn't matter. Um, and just stuck a felt piece on the back. And then I made this one here myself. I used um, some felt and some thread and I just threaded it through and made like this little paper and then kind of kawaii design paper. It's not the best, it's all crooked and crazy, but it's okay, I like it. It was one of my very first paper clips that I ever made. Um, let me see, what else do I have? I have got this one and this one's actually made out of these pins right here. Um, so you can make paper clips like um, out of pins and what you do is you just stick the paper clip right through the pin and then I cover the pin up with felt if you don't want to use wire cutters to cut that out. Um, so I made that one there. And then these are using flare badges and I know a lot of y'all have these on hand. Um, I made several of these with the flares. I think that that's it right now. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, because I like flares, but I don't like using them on my projects because they're kind of dimensional. So if I use them in a scrapbook layout or in my project life or in a card, it's like it's popped out and I just don't like that. I don't know why <laughs> it bothers me. So I just turn them into paper clips and this one says very thankful. This one's a deer head that's like really cute. And then this is scissors because of course I'm a crafter, I love scissors. And then I used a stamped image from Lawn Fawn. Um, and I made a Walking Dead paper clip, and this is basically zombie inspired. As you can see, there's like bloody handprints. I really loved this. It was so much fun to make. And then again, I put paper, um, I put felt on the back of these as well. So you can see they're not cut out. This one, I actually use a die cut that comes with the stamp, and I cut this out, but I only had zebra print felt at the time, so that's what I used. Um, but I really like this was my all-time favorite, I think. 
And then this is using some embellishments from Spare Parts, I believe, from Hobby Lobby. And it was like these little um, eyeglasses that were sticky and I took the sticky part off and then I just glued them to a paper clip to make a paper clip. Um, here are some wood veneers. This one is from um, Fresh Cut by Basic Gray. And it's an arrow, and again, I put some felt on the back, and I just glued it on, and it's a wood veneer paper clip. And then these are by Prima, and I made paper clips, because sometimes I want to hoard my wood veneers. I don't really want to use them on a project, and I thought, you know, which, how can I save my wood veneers, but also be able to look at them? And so I was like, I'll make myself some paper clips, and I'll always be able to look at them and use them if I want to. So this one's Coffee Time, a donut, and a little tea kettle, or coffee kettle. And then these are using um, some ephemera pieces and chipboard. So this is an ephemera piece, and I know a lot of you have these lying around. So a lot of times you might want to make a really cute paper clip, and you don't want to go to an Etsy store and basically buy it. So just look through your stash and find some die cuts, and you can even glue, you know, glue the clip on, and then glue the felt on, and boom, you have a paper clip. And then these are all chipboard pieces that I turned into paper clips. It's this one, this one this one and the popcorn one let me see this one these are all chipboard pieces and again i just put felt on the back and i made some paper clips really cute for summertime when you want to do a summertime spread and then you want to take a picture you can use these as a as a um what is it photo prop not a prompt but like kind of like a little prop in, in your photos and so so far that's my collection right here but then i've got this one and this one is actually from an American craft sticker and as you can see I got some glue there but I basically took the little spongy part off um, the foam dot and then I stuck this in between the two layers there's two layers in there and I made myself a paper clip for Valentine's Day and then this is a just a cabochon and I just glued it on I didn't even put it back on it just glued it onto a paper clip and then here are some little banners that I made and this one's using the Dear Lizzie um, ephemera pieces. And I just glued it and put a, a felt on the back. And then this one, I just glued it. I didn't even put a felt on the back of this one. And then here is a another one using ephemera. And this one's a diamond. And I don't, I don't know if fancy pants, I don't know which ephemera pack this is from, but I really like it. And then here is one that I made out of my silhouette portrait. And I did sell these on Etsy. I only have one left. Um, and then, and then of course my personal one, which is this one. And I just put a felt on the piece on the back part and laminated it and glued it onto a gold paper clip. So these are all the ones I have created. Um, so as you can see, there's a wide variety that you can create with many items that you might already have in your stash. Very simple, quick, and fun to make so that you can use them as props for your planner videos or um, your Instagram photos or Facebook photos for your plan planners. So um, these are the ones that I have made. And then I have the ones that I have been given. So I was given these. And I believe it might have been Crafty Irina that gave me these. I'm not too sure. But she made these out of stickers and they're really cute. I like this one. She made several. I have a ton, but I don't, I have those put up with my Halloween stuff. These were made by Sabrina Ann and they're really cute. And then I had this one. I don't remember who made this, but I glued it onto a paper clip myself because I really liked the little ghost and the um, bottle cap. And you see here's two, here's another one. And then here's this one that was given to me in a pocket letter and this one that was given to me in a pocket letter. So these are all my paper clips. <laughs> I, I think I have a problem. Um, if you guys wanna share your paper clip hoards, go ahead and do so, it's so fun. I love paper clips, they're like my favorite. Um, and there's so many different ways that you can make some and um, from things that you already have on hand. So yeah, definitely fun to make your own paper clips. I mean, it's fun to buy them too because some people make really cute felt ones. And I mean, those are so super cute. But I mean, I don't really use paper clips a lot. I just like to use them when I do photos of my planner. So for me to make my own, I think is a whole lot cheaper and a whole lot simpler. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys share with me um, your paper clips. You can tag me at 
on Instagram at Cindy Four Kiddos or on um, here on YouTube, just send me a message. Say, hey, I got a video up of my paper clips. Go and check them out. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.